Levels of the world? Four. Three. Guys, I gotta get out of here. What are you doing? I know! I'm gonna get out of here! Stop! Take one? Yeah. No, we'll do one take all the way through. I got it. Casey. Casey, you just screwed up your opening line. Yeah. Think fast. Whoa! Back of my head's real. Well, that was in the line for my wine glass. Hey, my head exists since in reality. <sighs> Different types of stuff though. I'm sorry. Sometimes I feel that I can't take it. So then I tune in to wake and bake it. It's wake and bake time. It is wake and bake time. I think so. All right, it's wake and bake time. Finally, let's make some tofu. You're gonna need a couple things. It doesn't take much. You're gonna need a killing knife from Thailand. You're gonna need, um, a tea towel that somebody gave you for your wedding. You're also gonna need some extra virgin olive oil or coconut oil. <laughs> and you might want to get some soy sauce. No, you do. Uh, so yeah, it's great salty, you know, it's kind of probably high in sodium. 860 milligrams, 36% sodium, so salty. So. Tofu should usually come in a package. Okay, so tofu comes in a water sealed package. Tofu comes in a um, vacuum sealed package with a little bit of extra water inside to keep it moist. Yes. It comes in a couple different flavors. There's firm, it's hot fiesta, hickory smoked, my personal favorite. It's really good for Italian. Uh, something that you don't have fresh herbs for, I use the herb, uh, garlic, tofu, essential soy foods. Today we're going to use firm. The beauty of uh, the food is that you can make it taste like anything. So what you need to do is you need to take it out of its package. You need to drain the, the remaining water that is inside of it. The sink, whatever, cut it open. Am I supposed to be talking about this? You should be like, yeah. Yeah. And usually one pound of tofu can be cut into... One, two, three, four, five. Six slices. Put that in tofu here that you've just cut up out of a brick. Lay them side by side. Are you there? Great. Fold the towel on top and just lightly press it so you don't um, deform it, but you just squeeze the moisture out of it so um, it can then absorb. Absorb. If you are cooking a big dinner and are prepping a whole bunch of other food, then you can uh, put a cutting board on top of it and a cookbook on top of that and let it press while you are mincing onions or garlic or um, having lots of wine. So. We have pressed the tofu. And now it is ready for a optimum absorption of flavor. Take your knife, cut it, the tofu that is, into whatever shapes you like to cook with. I usually just go with a small rectangle. That's what you want your tofu to look like before you fry it. Do you want to fry it? Let's fry it. Thank you. I have to toasted my almonds. Some people eat it raw. Babies like to eat it raw. <laughs> Feed your baby raw tofu, they love it. Actually, it's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> so, now what? Duh. Uh, you just turn your pan on, get it going, put some olive oil in, maybe about, um, I'd say two or three tablespoons. Enough to let the babies have a bath. Refresh your glasses. How do I know if it's ready? The oil, that is, for the skillet to fry the tofu in. Uh, well, mine's smoking. That, that's when you know it's ready. Did you, did you hear that? That's how you know that your olive oil is ready for cooking. So we know the oil's ready. Let's toss the rest of the tofu in and make it a tasty dream. Mama's tasty. Grab a spatula. Make sure that all sides of the tofu covered in oil. We don't want anything sticking. Not to my pan. So the tofu's been cooking for about two minutes. Um, it's slightly browned on a few sides of each kipple, of each piece of tofu. So we're gonna add a little bit of the soy sauce. About um, 
one tablespoon of soy sauce. Casey, what time do you add the soy sauce? I usually add the soy sauce after everything's coated with oil. So like 10 minutes? Five minutes, I think, I would guess. Anyway, usually usually that minute. is about four, four minutes, 20 seconds. Well, that all we've had to do to cook this tofu is take it out of its package, press the water out, cut it into shapes that you want to eat. Oh, and you just put it in with olive oil and soy sauce. It's so easy to make, it's crazy. It makes me crazy. It makes me crazy sometimes how easy it is. Here it is. It's done. Golden brown. Tasty. Mrs. Tasty. Let's eat some. I have a broken wrist. This is kind of hard to eat it too. <laughs> true story. The thing about tofu is, is if you know how to make it in this super simple traditional way, then you can put it on top of anything. You can put tofu in it because it tastes good. You can put tofu in it because it tastes good. So, you know, one of my favorite meals in the entire world is this simple recipe. You can put it on top of anything. My favorite, put it on top of some spaghetti. Thanks for coming into Wake and Bake Store.